The directions at the top of the slide say to express in simplest form. So in one through four, we're adding and subtracting fractions. And if you notice, in every single question, we have the same denominator. So when we're adding and subtracting with common denominators, the first thing I can do is go ahead and copy down my denominator as the denominator stays the same. And then I go through and combine all the numerators. In this case here, when I'm subtracting, you want to make sure that you distribute the negative all the way through. So this is negative 4x minus 4. Now combining 2x minus 4x, we get negative 2x and negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. I can't factor 2x minus 5 or negative 2x minus 5, nor can I factor a squared plus 2, so this is the answer. Number 2, when I combine the numerator with a plus, I don't really have to worry about distributing the sign all the way through as the signs remain the same. So 7x and 8x is 15x. 2 minus 11 or 2 plus a negative 11 is negative 9. In this case, I can reduce as 15 is divisible by 3 as well as 9. So final answer is going to be 5x minus 3. Number 3, again it's addition, so I'm just going to combine like terms. There's nothing to combine with the x squared, so I just want to bring that over. There's also nothing to combine with the 5x, so I'm going to bring that over as well. Combining my two like terms, 1 and 3, I get 4. Now I need to simplify this expression, which means to factor and cancel. I can't cancel anything out until I factor. x, x, factors of 4 that combine to 5 are 4 and 1. And this is the difference of two perfect squares, x plus 4 times x minus 4. Canceling common factors of x plus 4, my final answer is x plus 1 over x minus 4. The last one, subtraction. So as I mentioned, we want to make sure we distribute that negative all the way through. So minus 2x squared minus 4. Combining the like terms. 3x squared minus 2x squared is x squared, and I bring over the negative 4 as there's nothing to combine. Now, to simplify, I factor, cancel. This is the difference of two perfect squares, so that's x plus 2 times x minus 2. In the bottom, both terms have a factor of x in common, so x is our GCF, and it's x times x plus 2. Canceling common factors, I'm left with x minus 2 over x is my final answer.